I am excited about one of the coolest releases that we'll do today, that of AWS Step Functions, that allows you to coordinate different components of a Lambda application through a state machine. So you basically, what you can do is you can build your application as a state machine, have the different functions in there. You do this in a visual way. We coordinate the components through multiple steps. We visualize the application also as a set of multiple steps, and then allow you to execute the complete state machine based on sort of the inputs or the triggers that you have. We do this in a visual way, so you get this editor where you can actually sort of combine the different uh, Lambda functions together, the different states that you have there, and you can implement quite a few different sort of strategies there that you want to. Do you want to do this as sort of sequential steps? These are the five steps you need to do between the different functions that you need to execute. Um, do things need to happen in parallel? Yeah, you branch things out to other places, or indeed, based on particular data units, do you want to go left? Do you want to go through the middle? Do you want to go right? Yeah. This really helps you with building sophisticated applications on top of Lambda. We're using a state machine approach there. Doesn't necessarily cover every possible uh, application pattern, but it's a really, it covers a very large set of them. And I think state machine approach is a really good way to model your applications if you're taking a serverless approach. Yeah? I hope that these things go back to your desktops Go back to your workstations and really try this out because this gives you a great set of tools to build very complex or sophisticated applications using Lambda.